So let's start by brainstorming a fun, unique story idea. I will be using ChatGPT Plus with a Dolly 3 model. You can still do everything that I'm about to show you with 3.5, but the problem is when it comes to illustrations, you will have to find another solution. There is a lot of free text to image generators out there, so it might still work for you. So another thing that I have been implementing in my workflow lately is the use of custom instructions. Here I have pre-saved prompt. So this is pretty crazy. No matter what I tell it to do, it always finds a good perspective personality or experienced AI avatar to do that job for me. So let's start with give me a list of 10 interesting and unique story ideas for children storybooks. So as we see here, it has created a list of 10 different stories for us. We have a summary of each story. It says, I understand you're seeking narratives that capture the wonder and adventure suitable for young readers. Um, let's see if we find something good. I like this one here the best. Child's pajamas grant them a different superpower. They use these powers to embark on nighttime adventures, helping animals and learning important life lessons. All right. So what we can do here is to write the story outline of number eight. And here we go. Title Pajamas with Superpowers, a story of 11 chapters and the target audience is for children between 4 and 8. So now based on this, what I like to do, uh, you see here that we have a main character, Jamie. Jamie. So what I do here is to tell it to write the description of that character so that we can choose to follow that description for every illustration GPT or Dolly creates for us. So write the descriptions of the characters that are in this story. Okay, so now we see that we got a bunch of description of different characters here. So what's important here is to look at the appearance, like the hair, the color of the eye, stuff that will make us recognize our character in different scenes. Now we can try write the appearance of our main character. That's awesome. Now we can say based on this description, can you create four different images of Jamie? Make sure it's in different ring painting styles, children's books. The reason that I'm telling it to make it in different styles is so that we have a few examples to look at. And if we like any of them, we can make sure to create the other illustrations following the same style. And I will be showing you how you can do that as well. Now this looks good. Let's say that we want now create Jamie in other scenes based on the same option. Make sure the description is followed for every illustration you create. Okay, so we got some new images. I don't know why it's giving us two images. Oh, I think it's based on the description because it said here, let's see, the eye colors were shifting. They changed from hazel to green depending on the light and mood. Now let's try something else here. Let's challenge it. Now give us Jamie playing soccer. I know I should say football, but I don't want it to give us images of him playing American football. So let's see here. Remember the... of Jamie <coughs> so as you can see I'm trying to remind it to follow the same description because what it tends to do is to the first image it creates it follows the description but the second image it just refers to Jamie but Jamie can be whatever so it doesn't follow the description so I'm trying to tell it to do that yeah as you see we got now Jamie playing soccer now let's say great I like the first image. What is the gen ID of that image? So we have something else that's called gen ID. It's pretty new in chat GPT or Dolly. So you'll get the specific ID for that image and it makes sure that if you refer to it, it follows the same style. So let's try uh, create an illustration of Jamie scoring a goal while playing soccer make sure the style 
gen id I don't think you need to write this part but I do that anyway just to make sure it knows that this is the gen id so it doesn't hallucinate on anything else like this one here might be good as well like until that one is fixed let's try something here oh, let's just save it there and let's go to photoshop there we go i believe you can still save that so if we do something like this Let's just put hair there using the generative AI and let's see what we get. Yeah, this is good. So now we have another image. Now let's get back to what we wanted to create. So what I like about this here is that it has the same t-shirt. Like there is another image on it, but it looks so similar. Okay, there we go. Now we got Jamie almost scoring a goal. So let's say now using the same gen id can you create jamie swimming and another one where jamie is playing volleyball and the third where he is in golf now let's see if it follows the same description of jamie or if we have to remind it again yeah so we didn't get so good results so this time i wrote this isn't good give me another image of jamie climbing a tree make sure you follow the description and appearance of jamie and use the same gen id as before so hopefully we get something that looks more like this and this so these are pretty good like they are consistent the coloring of the eye like it can be changed that's not a problem we can change the others to green or we can change this one to brown let's just copy it and go to photoshop create a new control v and let's go to the colors of the eye There we go, let's colorize it. Yeah, this looks good. We can do the same thing here. colorize and now let's see what we got here there we go jamie climbing a tree but i don't like that they are not the same this looks awesome okay second let's see what we got now okay these two look alike but it's still not the same so now i asked it what are the gen id style for these images i just wanted it to make sure that it follows the same one that i had given it earlier and it seems that it does follow it so now i told it to give us jamie jumping row follow the same description of jamie and use the same gen id style as well so the trick here is to make sure it follows the same description and mention the gen id and you can pretty much do anything you want with it so all you have to do now is to be creative and uh, yeah, you see here, it's really awesome. Now, let's say, based on the images you have generated so far, write a story that I can use them. So now, based on the images that we got, it has created a story for us. It starts um, in Rainbow Ridge, a lush park by the house, that's the first scene, and where Jamie loves to climb. After the climb, he's playing soccer, and now found a rope hanging from a tree branch, and then the volleyball. But now, I didn't like the image we got of the volleyball, so I'm going to say, can you create the scene of Jamie playing volleyball? Make sure you follow the same disc before, and chain ID. There we go. Now, this is really good. So, with this one here, now we have complete of five images. Yeah, I really like this one here.